This is our SWM shed of Kothur Gram Panchayat. Our Kothur Gram Panchayat has been selected in the first phase of MMPS program. And here, in our SWM shed, we use vermicompost as a fertilizer instead of using all the pesticides to grow the plants. We are using handled down plastic bottles for watering those plants just like a drip irrigation. And we have set down call center board at our village. Consists of 2,669 population and it has 1,018 households and we have only 3 green ambassadors and 1 tricycle and 1 farmer. And we have published formlets as a part of creating awareness among the villagers we have arranged mass campaigns door to door campaigns and everything what not rallies etc and we created awareness among the villagers about the segregation of dry and wet waste from the households itself by our engineering assistant, ward volunteers and all the Sachwalayam staff. As a part of liquid waste management, we used to clean our kacha drains and underground drains twice a month. Along with this, as a part of plastic waste management, as we know, we are segregating the dry and wet waste from the household itself. We are placing that dry waste on the dry waste pits like the plastic bottles, plastic covers, etc. For the use purpose, to educate villagers about the cleanliness, as a part of IEC, we have arranged wall arts, paintings, etc. And we have collected 2 rupees from all the households to make them a part of this outstanding program. Now please let us explain the process of vermicompost preparation at our village. Before that, As we said, we created awareness among the villagers about the segregation of dry and wet waste from the households itself. And after the collection of the wet waste, we dump all those wet waste into the nada pits. After 60 days, we collect that compost from the nada pits. Before that, we have vermi pits inside our SWM shed. Before dumping that compost into the vermi pits, we must arrange coconut shells in reverse direction, just like we can see that in the video. Later on. We can transfer the compost into the pits. After transferring all the compost into the vermi pits, we release the earthworms just as in the video. To make the compost fertile, Later on, we need to arrange the gunny bags over that compost 
and we and we should spray the water twice or thrice a day I am agricultural assistant and engineering assistant. I examined every day about the growth of earthworms and the process of worming. And after 40 to 45 days, this is what we got: our vermi compost. We know the vermi compost contains 18% of carbon, 1% of nitrogen, 0.8% of phosphate, and 0.8% of potassium. Along with that, we should maintain the vermi compost in a humid condition like 0.7 to 0.9 percent. And as we know, when compared to all the other pesticides and fertilizers, the vermi compost is four times very effective.